everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. I just wanted to do something really, really fun, and I want to make fun of Trump. I want to make fun of him for cognitive errors, the fact that I took a cognitive test when I had a TBI, traumatic brain injury. So for him to continue to talk about having a cognitive test is quite weird because the cognitive test is about cognitive decline. It's not a hard test. I even had to go to the the therapy in order to learn how to map my memories while my brain was healing. So <laughs> I don't know why he keeps talking about this cognitive test. Crazy. Anyway, what about where he says he don't he doesn't think that magnets are a good idea because once you pour water on a magnet, poof, it's no longer a magnet. All of you working in recycling or in um, junkyards, do your magnets work in the rain? What about the magnets on ships? Do they work? In the rain. How could someone say that? Really? When I heard that, it took me a second. I was like, what? Okay. How many of you have had to have your ID to go into a store and buy a loaf of bread? You don't. Maybe if you go in to buy cigarettes and alcohol with the bread, you would have to have your ID. But going into a store, you can have your money and you can go in and buy your bread and not have to show your ID. Where in the world does that come from? This is, this is like, I find it absolutely hilarious because it doesn't bother me. But it's going to make people mad. And it's, it's hilarious. So anyway, let me give another one real quick here. Mm. I was watching... I was watching something. And he was talking about how honest he was. Okay. Well... Did you all forget about Trump University where he had to pay back like $25 million because the Trump University online was a fraud? How about the fraud in New York that he's done? He's already found guilty of that. When you're defaming someone, Aren't you making fraudulent and lies and claims that are not true, especially when you have to pay them $83 million for that? Yeah, pretty much all fraud and lies. Okay, I got stuck there. Um, he is not more popular than Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift can sell out venues that hold thousands of people, something Trump has never done. I mean, across the world. We're not just talking about here in the, the South or over here in the West or over there in the East. We're talking about around the world. There is no one that's going to buy a ticket to see Trump in Japan, Germany, France, He is not more popular than Taylor Swift. And you know what? He needs to shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Because that is not true. But Fox News. What's up with these people? Now, the Fox News <laughs> sports guy was on top of it. He he was on top of it. He, he, he got it. But all of those idiots on Fox News that was talking about this conspiracy with the Pentagon and the Biden administration with 
Taylor Swift and Travis and the NFL and the Super Bowl. Vivek said the Super Bowl is going to be rigged. Are you freaking kidding me? You people have nothing better to do. Come on. They're young, love. Yeah, and they're both very influential, huh? You might just want to shake it off. Just saying. So to all those Trump supporters out there that think he is just the cat's meow, shake it off, guys, because he's saying some really incredibly stupid things. Shake it off. Shake it off. 